Creating an animated intro for your YouTube video doesn't have to take a lot of time or be expensive. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your YouTube animated intro in Canva. Did you see that fancy intro? Well, that's what we're going to be creating in this class. So to get started, you're going to have to write down your introduction. For your introduction, I suggest starting with who you are, what you teach, and why does it matter. Write this down and then separate it into sections. Once you know what is going to be written, then you can start adding any visual cues that you want in your video. For example, at the beginning of mine, when I say, hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, I want a video of me waving hi. So I'm going to need to create that element that I can add to my Canva video. Once I have that ready, it's time to jump into Canva. Okay, so we're going to start by creating a new design. So you're going to go to create a design and custom template. So for this, I suggest you do the same dimensions as you would for a YouTube thumbnail or just a YouTube video. So that's 1280 by 720. Okay, so we're going to create our first slide. So let's change the color of the background to my branding colors. And let's add the video. So to add the video, I need to add a frame. So if I go to my elements, and I go to frames. I can select the circle frame. And then I can go to my uploads and then drag my video. So I want to add a background to my frame. And so to do so, I'm going to go back into my elements, into my shapes, and I'm going to change that color to black. There we go. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And if you want to move an object behind it, so just right click and click send to back. So I'm just going to align it. You can use your up and down arrow keys to fine tune your alignments as well. And because I know that I'm going to want these two elements to stay together, I can group them together. So by selecting both of the elements and right clicking, and you can go all the way down the bottom where you see group. So now these two are going to group together. This also is going to work when you're animating. Anything that is grouped together will animate together. And I have my handy script with me so I can start adding my text. So I'm going to add my text. So when you're creating that design, don't worry about the animation as much as having all your elements to where you think that they look good. Once you've created a design that you like, then you can start to animate. So to animate, we're just going to click outside of the box and you're going to click on the animate option. Once you click on the animate option, you're going to have a bunch of different options. So it's going to show you how it's going to animate. And then you can play your design too. If you press the play button up there, you can see what it's going to look like. So let's close that. And you can see that the video isn't playing and I can't change the duration of the slide. If you add a video clip to a slide, clip is going to be as long as that video clip is. So you're not able to trim it in here unless you trim your video. It also won't play the video in the playback, just know it will play once you render it. So we have our first slide ready and let's add page and go to the next one. For this one, I'm going to create something a little bit different because I want to show you how to use slides to animate that way. So I'm going to add my text first. So if you want to include a moving element, add stickers. A note with stickers is that you can't change the colors of the stickers themselves. So I'm going to add this one. This is a lot of text to be presented all at once and I want to break down how this text is going to come in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this three times and the reason is three is because there's three lines and I want each line to come in one at a time. So what I can do is I can delete the elements that I don't want to show up in like the first slide. So the second line and the third line and in the second slide I don't want the last line to show up and then I just want all of them to show up there. So what I can do is I can play around with how I'm animating. I'm going to change to none and I'm going to change the duration of this. Let's make it 1.5 seconds. 
Go over here, see the stopwatch up here? It allows you to change the duration. So let's change this duration. Let's say 0.5 seconds. And you can see as I change the duration, the time is gonna change up here in the corner. So this is gonna show me how long my full video is gonna be. So now I can press that and I can see it. This appeared a little bit too slow. So I feel like the next text needs to come in a little bit faster. So you're gonna go up to the first slide and you're just gonna change your duration. And then now I can see. Perfect. And then I have one last slide to add. So I'm gonna add another page. And now I'm gonna add the rest of my text. And then if you wanna add something extra at the end, you can change the colors. So what I can do is I can change the color of my font to my background color. And then let's change my background. Perfect. So what I can do with this is I can change the duration of this slide. So let's preview that. This might work better if the black is first. So player, I can move this slide further up. I found that this last slide seemed a little bit too long, so I'm gonna put that down to 1.5. If you were to add all your text at once, then it's hard to figure out what to read. But if you wanna add something later on, then what you can do is duplicate that layer and then make it show up so that it has more of a dramatic appearance to it. Okay, so our video's done. Now we're just gonna download it. So click download and select MP4 video, download, and your video will be ready shortly. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more tips on how to produce better video for your online course. Until next time, peace.